example here, I have mu is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 6 in S6. Remember S6 is a notation of a group. It's an all possible permutation of 6 symbol. Okay? All, all possible permutation of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now, I want to find the index of this mu. What is this notation here? Remember? Okay? This is the cyclic subgroup generated by mu. That means what does it mean? It consists of mu, mu square, mu k, mu 4, alright, mu 5, mu 6, and so on, alright. You keep on multiplying them. Although it is not, not necessarily go through this however because eventually you get back to E again. So let's look at mu here. Mu is let's do a calculation, although it's not necessary, but it's good to do a bit of calculation. So mu is 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 6. But it's mu squared. 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 6 multiplied by 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 6. Right? Mu squared is this. So what is this equal to? They want to figure out why 1 go to. So let's try. First, I stick one first. I want to know where does one go to. So I say okay. One goes to two first at the back. Then you move forward look for two. Two go to where? Two go to four. There's no more four in front. So write down four. So I know one eventually goes to four. Okay, next, let me erase this now. I want to know where 4 will go to. So from the back again, look for 4. 4 is where? 4 will go to 5. Then look for 5 in front. Any 5 in front? Yes. 5 go to where? 5 go back to 1. So, 4 go to 1 eventually. So, you don't need to write 1 again. Just say close. 4 go to 1. Again, when you multiply cycles, you know when to start writing, when to stop writing, because very often you write the wrong thing at the wrong moment. Right? Suppose to, suppose to write, you didn't write, suppose to stop. You cannot continue to write. Right? Okay, so what could happen. So you have to know when are you going to stop thinking. Yeah, so I finished 1 and 4 already. So let's look at 2. Let's say go to where? Okay, so 2 go to where? So at the back, I know 2 go to 2 go to 4. Right? At the back, 2 go to 4. Then look for 4 in front. 4 go to where? 5. There's no more 5 in front, so write down 5. So you get 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 4, then 2, 5, right? Now, after you finish this, let's see where the 5 go to. So 5 goes to 1, 1 goes to where? 2. So 5 eventually goes to 2, which I have already. So this is cross. Let's see, where does 3 go to? 3 eventually goes to 3. Why is it so? Let's see. 3 eventually goes to 3 because first, 3 goes to 6. Then, look for 6. 6 in front, 6 go back to what? 3. So 3 eventually go back to 3. Now what happened to 6? 6 is nowhere to go over here, right? Because everything taken care of, so 6 might go back to 6 now. So this is 1, 4, 2, 5, if you write in, in a cycle form. Nothing happened to 3, nothing to 6. This is mu squared. So mu squared is this. So where is mu cube? 
mu cube means mu square times mu, right? Or mu times mu square. Okay, so this is 1, 4, 2, 5 multiplied by 1, 2, 4, 5, 3, 6. So you multiply them out, I just do a quick one. So 1 go to 2, 2 go to 5, 1 go to 5 first. And 5 go to 1, 1 go to 4. Okay. Then 4 go to 5, 5 go to 2. Okay. Then 2 go to 4, 4 go to 1. 3, 6, I will say that 3, 6. Okay, and mu4, just tell you answer straight away, it's just E. So, actually, the subgroup generated by mu is actually this one. Mu, mu square, mu cube, E. First, afterward, you get mu and mu squared into your thing. Now, is it possible that I know that this is 4 without doing all this calculation? Remember last week you also learned something? How to find the order of this cycle? Remember? Order of mu. If you have this one cycle, it's so LCM or what? 4 and 2, right? So this is a 4 cycle, this is a 2 cycle, and they are this try. Powder and mu, this is LCM of 4 and 2. What is LCM of 4 and 2? This common multiple of 4 and 2 is 4. That means that mu multiplied 4 times, you get E. Without going through this calculation, you know, 4 times must give you E and D. Alright? So, now let's look at what is the index of this? So, index of mu. Right, is how much? It is the size of S6 over the size of this group. How big is the size of X6? X6, how many permutations are there for 6 above? 6 factorial. How big is this group here? 4. Index is how many codes you can get. Alright? 6 factorial is how, how many? 720, right? 720 divided by 4. Right? So you get 180. Therefore, the number of this thing codes set you can get. If you try to form a codes set, you have codes set, right? Try to form a codes set. Number of this thing codes set you can get is 180 of them. So this example introduced to you how many like are there? This is called the index of a subgroup.